Saturday morning. In addition, 13 helicopters and more than 1,000 tactical high water vehicles are on standby. The Florida National Guard is coordinated with other states and the National Guard Bureau to ensure approximately 30,000 troops, 4,000 trucks, 100 helicopters, and air evacuation crews are ready to support our state. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission is preparing search and rescue teams for potential deployment. The Fish and Wildlife Commission has more than 200 officers standing by for the first wave of response based on potential storm impacts. 30 teams with supporting resources such as trucks, coastal and river power patrol boats, an ATV, and two shallow drop boats are prepared for evacuation support, search and rescue missions, or any additional needs. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement, FWC, the Department of Highway and Safety, and other partnering agencies are identifying resources for deployment and response. The Florida Highway Patrol is monitoring road and traffic conditions to ensure roadways, roadways are clear. Each FDLE region has established a minimum of two response teams and logistics planning team ready to deploy to impacted areas. Utility providers. I've been in constant contact with Florida's utility providers and they're already working on staging and asset allocation so they can return power as quickly as possible following the storm. They're actively pre-positioning resources throughout the state and in neighboring states. We know from previous storms how incredibly important it is for power to be restored as quickly as possible. So, guys, I will be talking to the utilities often throughout the day and have urged county and city officials, including sheriffs and police chiefs, to reach out to their utility providers so we can all work together in response to Irma. Lake Okeechobee. Water levels in Lake Okeechobee What's are being lowered up? as well as the surrounding canals. Routine it's inspections good, of the Hubert Herbert Dyke are taking place and additional inspections will begin once the lake approaches 17 feet. The lake level is currently is 13.6 hey, feet. Based on current rainfall forecasts at this time, we have no major concerns with the dike, but we will remain in constant contact with the South Florida Water Management District and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to monitor, monitor the dike. Shelters. If you are evacuating from the Keys, you can shelter at Florida International University. We're working hand-in-hand -hand with the counties to ensure that shelters are available for That's other counties who may need to evacuate. There is absolutely no right. reason for anyone not to evacuate if you're ordered to do so. Shelters will be available, and you should follow the directions of local officials to go to the shelter that fits your needs. Families can go to www.floridadisaster.org slash info to learn where shelters are in your area. Comcast will be open more than 137 free Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots throughout the state for individuals in need, including non-Comcast customers. For, that, for a map of these hotspots, visit www.xfinity.com slash WIFI. The state is state taking supplies such as meals, shelter support trailers, and water at the State Logistics Res Resource Center in Central Florida for deployment as needed. We will be positioning these goods once we have a better understanding of the path of the storm. Last night I spoke to U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary Tom Price who told me that HHS has disaster medical assistance teams en route to Florida. These re rapid response teams aid in the provision of medical care to those who need it after the storm. We've all seen reports on the news of grocery stores being out of water. Retailers are working as quickly as possible to fill grocery store shelves with water and other emergency resources. All weight and driver restrictions have been waived and tolls are waived, Crazy. so this is helping. We've been in touch with Craziness. More supplies are clearly on the way. If you visit the store and found a shortage, you should go back today to get your supplies once everything has been replenished. What we need now is volunteers. We need more volunteers. Volunteers, huh? I'd volunteer. But that's a whole nother story. Oh, hey, I'm glad you guys are here at the Watchmen. And, uh, you know, we really need to send our prayers and stuff out there to uh, Florida, well, the Caribbean islands. Um, it's getting hectic out there. They're going through it. They really are. You know, it's like, man, this is hurricane season, but like, let me tell you, there's some big, some big hurricanes lately. You can't tell me it's not climate chaos. We had some rain here in California last night. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, too. You know, yeah, Andrew, 1992, Andrew. Well, maybe it's one of those years that 
We get those crazy hurricanes. You know? First it was Harvey. Devastated Houston. Now it's um, Irma. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's supposed to break down into a Category 4 by the time it hit, it hits Florida, which is still strong. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's fucking still a major hurricane, but <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to be anything like Harvey if it's a slow move. And it doesn't look like it's a slow moving one. Yeah, it's up in the air. I'm putting together a video right now editing on what the projection is and and what I've been doing and from the weather models that I've been going by it looks like it's been you know it's pretty much moving in and out type of hurricane so which is a good thing and I got to keep this live stream short so but well I'm glad you guys are here I know a lot of news just not about Hurricane Irma but freaking Yellowstone's been jumping off the off the rooftops some major major earthquakes and then we just had like a, a major CME that's supposed to hit tonight and then another solar flare CME that's more powerful than the one that's supposed to hit tonight comes in tomorrow and it's like there's a lot of shit going on So, it's been hectic. I'm glad you guys are here. So, how's everybody doing, man? You know? Let's get some shout-outs here. I'm in Northern California. It's been a while since I did a live stream. Usually I live stream from my main channel. But I can't do that until November. Evan, Korea. Even Korea. Oh, even Korean. Sorry, Evan Korea, Ricky Lopez. Sorry about that. Hey, Rob. What's up, Chris? Been crazy, Jennifer. Where, where Jennifer? Where you at again? I'm sorry. Jennifer's been a loyal subscriber on both of my channels. Oh, I'm sorry, Thrasher. Dude, I'm sorry, brother. Sorry about that. Sorry about your dad. That's sad. I'm sorry. Indiana. To lose a loved one, family member, especially your mom or your dad, you know. All right, Ricky. Good thanks, man. It's about time. Oh, someone's yelling. It's sounding like my wife and shit. <laughs> Thank you. Right on. I've been busy, man. I have. Okay. Um, I don't want to get you guys' expectations up, but I'm supposed to go to Vegas for the first time in my life. Never been to Vegas. Going to Vegas in, in October. And it's going to be fun. Yeah, I did. I was just mentioning that earlier in this live stream. There's two of them. We had just one the other day. And then not only that with Yellowstone, Major Quake. I mean, dude, there's been, I got to, man, it's, there's so much to cover. And just trying to, you know, and and then, uh, yeah, with the CMEs, one's supposed to touch down tonight here in the United States or whatever. And uh, then the other one that happened, that's a X class, X nine ten whatever class it's supposed to be huge but you know we'll see so humid here in california right now because we had that rain and it's supposed to be 90 degrees man we've been getting cooked you know what, we Chris, we haven't decided where we're going to stay at in, in Vegas. <sighs> what hotel and shit like that, but it's going to be the Halloween weekend, weekend of Halloween. And uh, I'm going to drive to Reno, 
and then we're gonna fly from Reno to Vegas and uh, I've never even flown before either it's crazy it's crazy so I'm kind of nervous about that you know but we're supposed to have a good time you know and just you know see what happens definitely signing up for wherever we're staying the Players Club that's the best way sign up with the Players Club get your free whatever money and shit and play off of them and then put your own money in and then drink all night so we'll see I don't know we're going with some uh, friends of ours and uh, stuff like that so I'll be live streaming that shit believe me believe me I'll be live streaming that well anyways I gotta go how to make this short I gotta go pick up my kid from school you know he's a preschool so I gotta go pick him up so with that being saying, I just, you know, I want to give you guys a heads up. Sorry, this is a short live stream. Usually I do live streams on the weekend and shit, but <clears throat> you guys have a, a great evening or great morning. I'm sorry. It's morning time still in uh, California and God bless.